Been on. I got my friend is on with the bruise and I'm good to go. Waiting on ya, how I come and set me free. I promise America ain't what they say it be. RIP to Uncle Brown, remember what you said to me. Being a clown gives opportunities to enemies. Christ been dropping me game, candle been hotter than flame. Rots as I gave me the truth, respect when you dropping his name. The cream of the crop, nobody stopping the cream. Satan try cropping the team, nightmares fall in the dreams. On ya, how I lean. And they tried to put me on blast, they tried to give me the blame But I'm not the same as I came, I don't be boasting on arms Humble, I'm keeping it calm, wearing my heart on my arm Brother, talk to me, talk to me brother You preach it to the crowd, I'm speaking to you directly, right? Hold on, I got you, right? You said people are walking by and saying this is black supremacy, right? And you, I got you And you, listen to what I'm saying, right? Follow me, right? You said that people are walking by and saying that this is black supremacy, right? And you're pointing to this guy and said that this is wrong, right? No. This is is this... Jesus so what's the so so what's so 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 what's wrong about this? Right. No, you pointed at the photo. What's your issue with the photo? Right. I don't have an issue. With okay. So why would you put at the photo and say okay, black supremacy, right? You put at the photo. What's wrong with the photo? The photo is incorrect, right? The Bible says what color does he look like? Have this man ever claimed to be from the tribe of Judah? No, have this man ever claimed to be from the tribe of Judah? Yes. No, he have not. This man don't have a lineage. He don't got a, a goddamn tribe. He just popped on the scene and say, I'm Jesus. Do you know who this is? Is it just a picture? No, dude, the person. Do you know who this person is? You ever heard about Cesar Borgia? Well, you need to do some, you need to do some history, Ken. You need to do some more studying. Right. Be be before you make asinine claims like that. Right. You have to know exactly who the, Put up, put up this demon right here for me, somebody on the phone. Put him up, such a bullshit. And we're going to do some reconnaissance on this demon right here, right? You got to bring that up, sir? Bring it up. Second Peter 1 verse 20. Knowing this verse, that no prophecy of the scripture is of any private interpretation. That it says this prophecy of this book is of any private interpretation. Right? We're not using these words and spitting it to uh, to fit our narrative. Right? We're reading it verbatim, right? And as, as it is written. So this is not about me be, be, having my personal interpretation. It's thus save the law, King. Okay? Right down the middle, man. Either black or white, man. Right? Is you have a hard time processing that because what? You were, I got you. Because you was raised under your Egyptian mother. Right. That's so therefore, right. she taught you what you need to know. Because even Jesus would even say, I came for the nation of Israel, but you would say, nah, man. It ain't really about that. Right. Who the hell are you? Uh, Who the hell are you to come and say what Jesus Christ said was incorrect? Or, 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 or try to take away from his ministry. Bring it out. Or add to his ministry. Right. right? Who the hell are, I got you, King. Well, Who the hell are you? That's what you guys do 24-7. That book right there says Jesus Christ is not God, right? Um, you heard me, brother? Me here dialogue, right? See the white man? He, his, his thing is he always want to insert himself into people's conversations, right? That's what he does. He can never mind his goddamn business. Right? Every time he's on the dialogue and he want to insert himself. Why? Wow. Right? Bring it out. Maybe there's validity to what he's saying. He ain't got, listen, it's not you, right? Ain't nothing about what he's saying, man. The white man is a liar, man. He would lie to you all your life, brother. Right. When, when have, no, when have the, the, the so-called white man have ever told you the truth? Pastor, mm. bring that up. Tell me what the white man told you that, that, that wasn't a lie. How? No, I have a question. No, no, I asked ask you a question first. Tell me one situation throughout the hours of time that the white man have ever told you the truth about who you are. What does that have to do with? You're not what, answering my question. Here, though. You're not I, answering my question. I, I can't possibly. You're not answering my question. I can't because if it's a lie, that means it's well versed in deception. How does one know when so anyone has said a lie or has, to, has a white man lied to us? How many times do black has, people lie? Everybody lies. But we're talking we about. Lie. Yeah, this we, all is what, come, we all come short. Of right, the but we're talking about this specific group of people, right? The nation of the so-called. I got you. Right, don't move the goalposts. We're talking about oh, them specifically, it. right? Have they lied to us throughout the eyes of time about who we were as a people? Come on, don't get distracted, man. I'm listening to you. I got you, brother. You all right. You safe up here. Safe space. You see what the white man see? You want to listen? You want to shake your head? See that? Yeah, you see that? I'm speaking to you. I'm speaking to you. I'm speaking to you. I'm speaking to you. I'm to you. You don't want to tell us what the video you speak. You keep quiet. And that, that kind of breaks my heart, brother. You know what I'm saying? So from there, from here for a point, from here on out. No, because I asked you a question. I want to hear what's going on. I'm talking to you. Right? Listen, I got you. This is what I'm saying. 
I got you. Let's all over, right? The so-called white men have never told our people the truth about who they are, right? They had us in slavery, they changed our nationality, and they pitched white supremacy all of our lives. Every time our people are kids are getting raised, we believe in Jesus being white, our savior is white, the angels are white, everybody is not of our people, right? So they've been lied to us for so long. So my point is that when a white man comes and try to talk to me, I don't really want to hear it, right? right? We already got our information from this word of God and from prophecy and from history and archaeology of who we are. We know who we are, right? No more longer are we going to stand there and listen to what a white man got to say. It's not going to what got to say. Unless you're going to cooperate what I'm saying is true and if you're ready to submit itself to, to, to the people of God, then I don't want to hear it, right? I'd rather dialogue with you on, a, on a, you know, all day than to deal with him. So when he speaks, I don't have nothing. I don't have nothing for him, right? right? So you said we have we our people lie to each other as well, right? Right. Okay, yeah. That's all part of the curses, King. What does that mean? That's all part of the. That's all it means, part. It means that we all need deliverance. We all need we, because no because because. Yeah. Look, this is the book of Luke, chapter one and sixty-seven. Hello. Then Zechariah was filled to overflowing with the Holy Spirit and prophesied, "Praise be." Praise be to the exalted Lord God of Israel, for he has seen us through eyes of grace, and he comes as our hero to set us free. Set us free, right? So deliverance is only for one people. According to the Bible, we don't want to need deliverance. Yes, what does the white right. man need to get delivered from? I may so, ask you. So when Christ was no, born, I ask you. What does the white man need to get delivered from? He said we need deliverance, question, right? No, I because you're not answering my question. You said we all need deliverance, right? right. And I, I'm, I, I showed you that only we get deliverance. And I'm asking you, what does the white man need to be delivered from? That's the question. The so-called white man or anybody else aside from us need to get delivered from. I'm not God over the white man. I can't tell you the white but man's problem. But you said that we all need deliverance. Yeah, from we, sin. So we all who? From the world. Needs deliverance from sin. What because, is sin? What is sin? It's when you transgress against the law of God. Who, who was the laws of God given to? Mm. Moses. To who? Who did Moses give the, 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 the commandments the to? The children of Israel. Right. Right. Ah. So what, what does that mean? That means that the children of Israel, the sin that he can't deliver us from, is from under the, the laws of, 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 of Moses, right? That we break continuously, right? The laws of God was not given to the whole world. Right. You have certain universal See, laws, but the Mosaic law that was given to the Israelites, that's what we need to get delivered from, right? Yeah, from our enemies, from breaking God's commandments. We need to come into that new covenant. Yeah. I got you. We need to come under that bond of that, that new covenant, right? Have a new mind, right? A new spirit, right? Because who is the new covenant for? Is it for everybody? Yes. Give me Hebrews 8 and 8. Oh. I'll prove you wrong right now. Read that verse. This is Galatians 4 and 4. Bring it out. But when the fullness of the time was come, uh -huh. God sent forth his son, uh -huh. made of a woman, uh -huh. made under the law, uh -huh. to redeem them. To redeem who? To redeem, redeem them, them uh -huh. that were under the law. He came to redeem them oh. that were under the laws of God, which was the Israelites. That's who, that's who redemption is for. That's who came to redeem people that was under the laws of God. Right. Give me Hebrews 9 and 15 in the CEV. Bring it out. No. This is Hebrews 9 and 15 in the CEV. No. Christ died. He what? Christ, Christ died. 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 Go ahead. He was a sacrifice. Go ahead. To rescue. To who? To, to rescue, rescue. those who had sinned and broken the old agreement. So the Bible says Christ came to die to rescue those that sinned and broke the old agreement. Who was under the old agreement? Was it everybody in the world? No, it was the Israelites, right? Because right. those were under the first covenant, right? That made, I got you, that made a covenant with God through Moses, right? right. On Mount Sinai, right? And he said he came for those specific people to rescue them, to bring them back into the kingdom of heaven. Now you said the covenant for everybody, right? Just okay. like the law was for everybody. Let's see. Hebrews 8, verse 8. Bring it out! For finding fault with them, he said, Behold, uh -huh. the days come, uh -huh. saves the Lord, uh -huh. when I will make a new covenant. I'm going to make a what? A, a new covenant. covenant. He says he's going to make a new covenant, right, brother? Go ahead. With the, with the house, house of Israel. Israel. Who? With, with the, the house of Israel. Israel. Everybody. With, with the, the house of Israel. Israel. And with the house of, of Judah. Judah. Uh -huh. mm. Not according to the covenant that I made with their fathers, in the day when I took them by the hand that led them out of the land of Egypt. So he says he's going to make a new covenant for the house of Judah and for the house of Israel. Wow. That's what the new covenant is for. Wow. So when you this for everybody, you're asserting to the law. And wow. Deuteronomy 4 and 2, Deuteronomy 4 and 2 says you cannot add or disallow from his law. Right. right. He already told us who was for throughout the whole Bible. That's so right. for a Negro to come today and say it's for everybody, that's using replacement theology. You cannot add, I got you, 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 I'm about to land my chariot, hold on, right? 
because you're wrong about what you said. So, so you want my new cabinet? No. Who is it for? Could I speak? Could I? Could okay, I say something original? No, but who are you coming this photo? Could I say something though? Well, but God, were you wrong God, about that? God, 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 no. God so you want created, to speak for God now? What, what was the reason? What was the reason that God created? Uh, uh, God made that covenant covenant with Abraham. Because God, God, the Bible says in the book of in the book of Deuteronomy. He good, he good, yeah, he right. In the book of Deuteronomy, it says that when God separated the world around when the when the languages were broken, when 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 He split up the uh, uh, around with the Tower of Babel, it said He He split up He split up the people in the world according to the names of the sons of God, and this is where we get our different religions. And God said, I'm going to make a family of my own. They're going to stand. They're they're going to. They, and this is where the children of Israel come in. They're going to stand and warn and, and not only war against the, the, the people of the other gods, but also as a representative to the world to give a choice. Hey, this is my example. You can come and follow me. That door to follow him was Jesus Christ. God so, God so loved the world. He loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. It also says about. It's incorrect. I, I believe in the, in the book of Luke. Of course, of course, you're going to say it's incorrect. I believe also in the book of Luke, it makes a no, correction. because you don't know who the world is, my brother. It, it, That's the thing. It, it, you don't know who the world right. is. You're reading that verbatim and thinking that the whole world is everybody, right? What is? There's many instances in the Bible where it talks about how there's no uh, there's no Greek, there's no more Gentile. It's only Christ. It's I got only, you. It's, it's, and you talk about having a new spirit when you have a, when you're born of the spirit. Your fleshly anatomy goes away. It's just as dead on the cross as Christ was. So you can't identify yourself according to Gentile, Jew, Greek, whatever, because you're now in the spirit. But that's the thing. You know, you, you've transcended your, your, your humanity, just as Christ did. He transcended his humanity to the point where he called his mother woman. She was no longer human flesh to him anymore because he was not on that level. So now it's, it's it's a matter of walking in in a new identity, not holding on to the old thing. Uh, I, to some extent, I agree with you, right? But a few things that you were incorrect in, brother, right? As far as him, the world that, that how many words, how many definitions for the word world is in the Bible? Do you know the word world? Well, I'm, I heard you. Let me just say one more thing. I'm sorry. I believe a lot of people don't understand these things because it's also written that the natural man cannot receive the things of the Spirit of God. Neither can he know them because these things are spiritually discerned. Without the Spirit of God, you will misinterpret the Word of God. You'd perceive it and see it as anything you want. Yeah, and but you didn't interpret that new covenant, there though. There will, there will be, how, I got you. you. Hold know? on. But you're, I, new covenant. I know who I am in no, the Spirit. That's and I know fine. Listen, behind my eyes. I got you. Truth. Okay, let me. I got you, right? The new covenant. You said it's for everybody. It's verbatim says for the children of Israel, right? Not Southern and Northern Kingdom, right? Were you wrong about that? Or was that wrong? Repeat the question. I'm sorry. You said the new covenant is for everyone. We read in the Bible in Hebrews chapter 8 and verse 8 that it was for the children of Israel. Right. That's what the new covenant is for. Were you, out. are you, I got you. Is this incorrect? Go back to the scripture in Luke where Christ No, I'm talking about Hebrews 8 and verse 8. Where Christ said, the woman say to Christ he, she said even the dogs can eat from the master's table if you humble yourself and recognize that you're a dog and 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 understand that you need deliver we all need deliverance too no it don't say that listen right she recognized that she was a dog I got you she understood and humbled herself of where she was so in, what does in, that in, mean in the eyes of Christ okay, she gets a crumb but that doesn't equal to South listen she asked for a crumb from the masses listen brother Okay, we're not going to argue. Let me know when you finish. All right, let me finish. Let me finish. No, he, he want to... Oh, I got you, man. Land your plane, it, King. It, 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 it means that by her faith, because that's what, that's what that whole book was about, the immense gravity of faith in that time to Christ. But what did that her faith mean, get her, though? It got her, a, a, it got her to be drafted in. Well, not, that's not true. It never, it never said that. It got her... I got you. It got her daughter healed from her devil. That's what? it. How was she I, come on. But how you was have she to wait. Let me land my plane. I let you speak, you landed your, your plane, right? right? Let me land mine. You inserted that it got her grafted in. Right. No, it doesn't. You read it and let me see if it says that, right? <laughs> All it did was got her daughter healed from her devil, from a sickness. She got nothing. All she wanted for her daughter to be healed. She didn't get grafted in. It, it never said that. Deuteronomy 4 and 2, you got that? Let me get Matthew 15. You got it? God, you want the whole thing? Yeah, look at the context. God, this Brother, don't be deceived, right? We're reading the Bible. Mm. See that? That's very that's disrespectful, man. Yeah, we have a discussion right here, my brother. I've been nice to you. Haven't I been nice to you? I'm just giving 
No, when I came, I got you, but I got you. I got you, brother. I got you. Wait a second. I'm speaking to the friend. Why are you speak for, you know what I'm saying? I'm speaking, to, me. I'm speaking to him though. I'm asking him a question. Yeah, we're yeah, just speaking on behalf of the Spirit. Uh, spirit. Alright, you ready? Yeah, yeah, they the Spirit, I guess. <laughs> it says Matthew 15 and 21. The Bible no. said, don't enter man in the midst of his speech. Right. I let you speak, and I'm trying to respond. He shut the phone in your face. Look at this. But I'm, but I'm speaking to you, though. And then I stopped you, and I said, if you speak there in front of me, ask him a question. Right? Since I came up here, I've been respectful to you, haven't I? Have I called you out of your name? Have I treated you unfairly? I have not. I've been to this brother right here. So I find, I find that very rude for him to do that. That's rude. Go ahead. Matthew 15 and 21. Yo. Jesus left and went north into a non-Jewish region of Lebanon. He encountered there a Canaanite woman. Right. He encountered a Canaanite woman. According to the Bible, are we allowed to deal with the Canaanites? Mm. No, not, right? According to what? Deuteronomy 7 and 1. Right? The seven nations of Canaanite. We cannot even deal with those people, those people at all. Right? right? They were supposed to be cut off. We went into land of milk and honey. They were supposed to be slaughtered, killed off, man, woman, and child, right? But, but, but we didn't do that, of course, because we went off into, into their wicked ways. But they were people that were cursed, right? Yes. Right. So he met a woman that was from where? Of Canaan, Go ahead. woman, uh -huh. who shouted at him, uh -huh. Lord, son of David, show me mercy, show mercy to me. My daughter is horribly afflicted by a demon that torments her. So her issue was, her daughter was previously vexed with the devil, right? She was tormented, right? That's what her, her whole issue was. She didn't come for salvation. Go ahead. But Jesus never answered her. Why, 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 why he didn't answer her? Why he ignored that woman? That's not nice, is it? Oh, mm. Why Jesus why? wasn't nice. She wasn't nice? I said, well, Jesus wasn't nice. He wasn't a nice guy? I wouldn't say so either. I wouldn't say so. <laughs> that's, a good, that's a good answer. Never answer. Well, other people would say, no, he's all love, right? He's, he's not an austere man, right? Like he wasn't flipping tables, whipping people with whips. Like he wasn't doing these things, right? Lion and a lamb for a reason. For a right? So it says he ignored the woman, right? Go ahead. So his disciples said, uh -huh. why do you ignore this woman uh -huh. who's crying? Uh -huh. Jesus said, I've only, only been sent to the lost sheep of Israel. So that excludes salvation. That chops that, that's that's blown out the window, right. right? Because salvific exclusivity is only for the nation of Israel. This is right. only came for the nation of Israel, right? That's, that's good. done. Oh, but you have faith, um, sister? Okay, cool. Here's a crumb, man, right? But the but Israel's but, but we get the whole loaf of the bread. Right! And she gets a crumb. A crumb don't equal salvation. Because here he says who I came for. I didn't come for you since I came for the nation of Israel, right? I got you. Be like my my my, my, my charity, go ahead. But she came and bowed down. She did what? Bowed bow down. down. She came and showed subjection. She came and bowed down to him, God. Right, knowing her place in this world as a heathenistic woman, as a Canaanite, not an Israelite. Go ahead. And begged him. And she did what? Begged him. She begged him. Lord, help me. Uh huh. He responded, it's not right for a man to take bread from his children. To Stop. <laughs> Jesus said it's not right for a man, a father Yo. of the nation is to take the bread from my people and give it to who? From his children uh -huh. and throw it to a dog. And give it to who? Throw it to a dog. What are the Canaanites? Throw it to a dog. So he says it's not cool, it's not right for me to take my children's bread and give it to a dog. Right? Letting you know that she acknowledged that she was a dog, right? She bought out and she know who her place in this earth and he acknowledges too. Yeah, 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 you're a dog. I got you, my brother. See, that's rude. That's rude. No, I just and, no. like brothers. That's fine. This is what I'm saying, all right? So, when you say that she got some, when you said that she, um, no, he said that she, oh, she got some. Oh, no, no, she, she got grabbed grabbed it in, in. Grabbed because grabbed of in. her faith. That's not in that text right there. That's an assertion, right? Deuteronomy 4 2. Deuteronomy 4, verse 2. Oh. Bring it out. Ye shall not add unto the word. You shall not do what? Ye shall, shall not add unto, unto the word. word. You shall not. That's a commandment. Right. You shall not add unto the word which I command you. Go ahead. Neither shall ye diminish aught from Neither it. Neither shall you diminish aught from it. Go ahead. That ye may keep the commandments of the Lord your God which I command you. So when you speak out of the Bible, my brother, you cannot diminish or add unto God's words. We read it verbatim. So you asserted that she's grafted now because of faith. That, that right there did not say that. All right. What about the Samaritan woman in the book of John? I knew, I knew he was going there. Let's get it. I got it, I got it, I got it. John 4, right? Oh, I knew he was going there. Samaritan woman, man. Mm. Like, oh, no, yeah, I want, the, I want the point. Yeah, I want the point, man. I got it. The Samaritan woman at the well, right? Mm. She, she, uh, uh, according to the world, she would be a non-Israelite woman, right? She will be a heathen, right? Mm. Let's see that. 
This is John Four. This is John. This is John four and verse twelve. Uh -huh. yeah. Art thou greater than our? I want some context, man. Uh, yeah. Right? Because you know we gotta get this in context right, to get a proper understanding, right? We don't want to just cherry pick, right? Let's go up a little bit further. Right. Verse, verse six. Uh -huh. Now Jacob's well was there, uh -huh. and Jesus, therefore, being weary uh -huh. with his journey, uh -huh. sat thus on the well, uh -huh. and it was about the sixth hour. Uh -huh. There cometh a woman of Samaria. A woman of Samaria. Go ahead to draw water. Uh -huh. Jesus saith unto her, give me to drink. So because it says she's a Samaritan, as that makes her automatically a non-Israelite? Were the Jews not scattered in Samaritan in the book of 2 Kings 17? The Jews went into Samaria? Not the Jews, the, um, the, the, the predominant in the kingdom. Did you know that? You could also no, say... I, 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 no, I'll ask you a question, my brother. Is her being a Samaritan automatically makes her a non-Israelite? Trying to answer your question. Say yes. Me. Say yes or no. It's not. Because okay, if, go ahead. if you read further, after the whole... No, we're going to get there. We're going to get there. Don't, don't jump the, the gun. Could you, after the whole conversation uh, with him and her and his disciples came back from getting meat, I think. No, you're uh, jumping the gun. We're going to read that, my no, brother. I'm answering your question. It said that the Jews were not to have dealings with the Samaritans. Yeah. Rather, that means uh, uh, she, they were Jewish or not Jewish. No, because I don't know, but I know that it says that they were not to have dealings with them. And also, if she was whatever no, let, she let, was, let's get to one point, why, would, why would Christ even go as hard as he did? As, okay, as, let's as, let, as far okay, let, 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 let's keep water to her. Let's keep reading. There cometh a woman of Samaria to draw water, verse 7. Mm -hmm. Jesus saith unto her, Give me to drink. For his disciples were gone away unto the city to buy meat. Uh -huh. Then saith the woman of Samaria unto him, uh -huh. How is it that thou, being a Jew, uh -huh. ask, ask his slugger, ask his drink of me? Because she said, How are you being a Jew? Right? A Jew is not the all twelve. A Jew is a, the son of the kingdom of Israel, right? Judah, Benjamin, and Levi, right? Predominantly, right? So how about you being, because the Jews of Jewry did not deal with the Jews that were scattered abroad, that were not following um, Jewish um, um, Jewish customs, right? If you was a Jew, an Israelite, born by nationality, but you were living in Greek, you were not considered a Jew. If you were living in other provinces, you were not considered a Jew, because you don't come down to keep the Passover, the Feast of Tabernacles, you don't follow the Jewish customs, That's you were right. not considered to be a Jew. But, by, but, 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 but ethnically, they were born Israelites, right, my brother? So she says, how about you being a Jew, right? From the Jesus from the tribe of Judah, right? right. So the kingdom of Israel. How about you being a Jew, asking water of me? They don't deal with the Samaritans, right? This doesn't make me not an Israelite. It's just that her customs was worshiping other idols there. They were living out of, outside of Jewelry, worshiping other idols, right? Other customs. So they did not deal with them, right? They went up to the mountain to worship on their mountain, and the Jews was in the temple in Jerusalem. It's, it's going to get into that. For the Jews have no dealings with the Samaritans. Jesus answered and said unto her, if thou, if, if thou knewest the gift of God, and who it is and who it is that saith to thee, give me to drink, thou wouldest have asked of him, uh -huh. and he would have given thee living water. Go ahead. Verse 11, the woman said unto him, sir, uh -huh. thou hast nothing to draw with. She said, you have nothing to draw water with. Go ahead. And the well is deep. Uh -huh. From whence then hast thou that living water? Uh -huh. She said, said, where you got that living water from? Right? right. Art thou greater than our father Jacob? She said what? Art thou greater than our father Jacob? She asked Christ, are you greater than our father Jacob? So what does that make her? If her father is Jacob, what is she? Oh. Ethnically. She'll be what? She'll be, She'll be an Israelite. She'll be true because she claimed her father is Jacob. That's right. Not because she lived in, I got you. Not because she's living in Samaria excludes her from being an Israelite, right? right. The Jews, son of Canaan, did not deal with the ones that were scattered, that were not keeping Jewish customs. That's why you read the book of Acts, the second chapter. Give me Acts 2. Whoa. Show you that how they had to come down to Jerusalem constantly to keep the Jewish laws. Wow. If you did not come down three times a year for tabernacles, Passover, and Feast of Pentecost, you're not an Israelite, you're not a Jew. That's right. right. So Paul had to go and get the Jews who were scattered, who were called Greeks, Romans, Philippians, Galatians, right? Wow. Thessalonians. Why? But they were all Israelites, but they were um, they were Hellenized through, through the Greek captivity. Right? right? Under under Even um the Romans? Huh? Even the Romans? The Romans were Israelites. All of those people in, Paul, in Paul's letters. Yes, sir. The Thessalonians. Yeah, yeah, we could. The, yeah. the, the, the Romans. All of Paul's. We're gonna get all that. Great question, brother. Right? We like we, good questions, King. We're gonna yeah, get into that, right? So I want you to first Corinthians ten. So how come Paul 
says in one of his letters that there is no longer Jew or, or, or Gentile I got, I got or Greek. You. That's or a good question. How come, how come if those things are true, why is he saying that in Christ Jesus there is no more of that? Because honestly, it sounds like you guys are worshiping your ethnicity more than you're worshiping Jesus Christ. That's not true. That's incorrect. Because through our belief, right, our faith in Christ, we show our works through faith in Christ. That's so right. So us believing in, in the, the real Messiah, Yahweh Shai, right? By keeping the commandments of God. That's right. right. Doing everything that He says for us. I got you. Brother, ask me a question. No, Hold on, I got you. I'm understanding but you can't. Your point. No, but I didn't finish yet, though. I didn't finish yet, though, right? You actually can't. Give me a second. You, say Jesus is God, God. you made me lose my point. Listen, I got you. Jesus, Jesus. Bring it up. Oh, Romans, Romans one verse seven. To all that be in Rome, beloved of God, call it brother. Jesus. Brother, you gotta hear your answer to the answer to your question. Listen closely. This is the book of Romans, right? The first chapter. Go ahead. Romans 1 verse 7 uh -huh. to all that be in Rome to all that be in Rome go ahead beloved of God beloved of God so throughout the Bible who's the people that are beloved of God who did God always well, show his love say to God so loved the world brother we're gonna get to that I don't think that. God created things that he didn't love I got you to all that be in Rome beloved of God called to be saints grace to right, my brother you gotta pay attention man right you can't ask a question but they'll be looking down the block that means that you just come for content. You don't come to learn and, and really get the, the information. Right. Lord, I hear what you're saying. Okay. I, again, I get your point. What's my point? Your point is that all Israelites, excluding everyone else in the world, for some reason, that's God not is, my point. God that's is, only, not God my is point. only looking at. That's not my point. My point is reading the book of Romans, showing that the people that he wrote to in Rome were Israelites. And that's my point. Wait. To your question. Listen to my point again. You said the people that were in Rome. Or the, or, the, or the Israelites. Yes, they are. We'll read the book of Romans and show that they are Israelites. Read, it, read Romans 1 again. Romans 1 verse 7. To all that be in Rome, beloved of God, uh -huh. called to be saints. Called to be what? Oh, called to, to be, be saints. saints. They're called to be saints. So throughout the Bible, who are the saints of God? Mm. Because you said they were called to be saints, right? Who are the saints of God? Not the Israelites. Let me, let me get it. Let me get it. Right. You said not hey, the, Israelites, the Israelites, right? right? Okay, let me get do the I got you. After the new covenant, but we're not in the new covenant yet, though. The new covenant that was established through Jesus Christ because he's the one who fulfilled the law. No, he did not fulfill the law. What, what, what law did but Jesus fulfill? He fulfilled the law that man couldn't fulfill. And yeah, we got a lot of stuff, man. Brother, you all over the place, right? You got that, right? Give me a second. I got you. No, you mentioned the covenant, so we're not under the new covenant yet. I'll show you. Okay, let's see what the saints are, right? You got Psalms, do Deuteronomy 33 from the top. He got it. Deuteronomy 33 from the top. Psalms 148, 14. Uh -huh. He also exhorted the horns of his people, the praise of all his saints, even of the children of Israel. Who are the saints? Even of the children of Israel. Read it again. Go chop the verse. Read it again. Psalms 148, 14. Psalms 143, verse 14. He also exalted the horns of his people, uh -huh. the praise of all his saints. The praise of all his saints, even of the children of Israel. Who are the saints? Children of Israel. Go ahead. A people near unto him. A people near unto him. Go ahead. Praise ye the Lord. Praise ye the Lord. So the saints are the children of Israel. That's so what right. you said is incorrect, brother, right? You may not have known, but we just showed you in the Bible, right? The saints are the children of Israel, right? I'll give you one more. Let me get that. Uh, this is Psalms 85. And verse, where is that? No, Psalms 50 and verse 5, the saints. Oh, it says, I'm gonna give you what I asked you for though. Sorry, so I, I can't find it. Cause you're fucking me up. I will hear what God the Lord will speak for. He will speak peace unto his people, uh -huh. to his saints. To his what? His saints. Go ahead. But let them not turn again to folly. That don't say what I want. I need Psalms 50. Psalms 50 and 5. I thought you said 55, that's what I Give me Psalms 50 and verse 5. I got it. Bring it out. Listen, this, my brother. Here you go. Gather my saints together unto me. Gather my saints together unto me, go ahead. That that have it's like it those those that have made a covenant with me by sacrifice. So which people made a covenant with God through sacrifice? The Israelites. The Israelites. So when he says, gather my saints unto me, those that made a covenant with me through sacrifice. So the Bible shows that the saints are the children of Israel. That's two precepts. Right? That's the right rule. And the Bible says, in the mouth of two or three witnesses shall the matter be established, right? That's right. I gave you two witnesses. Let's get one more to, to, to put it into the coffin. So I'm, I mean, Deuteronomy 30 from the top. Deuteronomy 33 from the top. Bring it out! And this is the blessing 
wherewith Moses, yep. the man of God, blessed the children of Israel mm. before his death. So contextually, the children of Israel is in context, right? Go ahead. And he said, the Lord came from Sinai uh -huh. and rose up from Sair. Uh -huh. unto, the, unto them he shined forth from Mount Paran. Uh -huh. And he came with the 10,000 of saints. How much? 10,000 10, of saints uh -huh. from his right hand went a fairly law from them. With the fiery law for them, go ahead. Yeah, he loved the people, all his saints. You love the people who? All, all his, his saints. saints. The saints of the of Israel. He says, he's, read it again. Verse two. Verse two, and he said, the Lord came from Sinai. The Lord came on Mount Sinai, brother, right, go ahead. And rose up from Sair. Uh -huh. Unto them, he shined forth them from Mount Paran, Paran uh -huh. and he came unto 10,000 of saints. Uh -huh. From his right hand went a fiery law uh -huh. for them. Uh -huh. Yeah, the commandments of God, a fiery law for the Israelites. Yeah, he loved the people. All he said are in his hand. All his saints. Bro, read it, read it, come on. Verse Read it nice and clean. Slow it down, right? No, I need to rush. Read verse 2 again, please. Read it slowly. Verse 2. And he said, the Lord came from Sinai uh -huh. and rose up from Sair. Uh -huh. Unto them he shone forth from Mount Paran. Uh -huh. And he came with 10,000 of saints. Go ahead. From his right hand went a fiery law for from them. right hand went a fiery law for them. The Israelites, right? From he wrote it with the finger of God. Go ahead. Yeah, he loved the people, all his saints. It says, yeah, he loved the people, all his saints. So the saints of God are the children of Israel. So in the book of Romans chapter 1 says, Paul says, El, don't that be in Rome, be loved of God, called to be saints? Guess who the saints are? The children of Israel. That's right. Right? But you have to read the Bible throughout. Precept must be upon precept. Lot right. upon lot, here a little, and yeah. there a little. Right, don't cherry pick Romans and try to come with a with a with a with a, with a breakdown of my, my, my um, good Philly beloved brother. Right, you have to be the Bible like a puzzle king. Right, so throughout the Bible, I got you. Paul was raised as a Pharisee under Gamaliel, right, a doctor of the law. Right. So they already knew who the saints are. That's a no-brainer for Paul and the Israelites. We know who the saints are. We have the Torah. We have the law. We have the scrolls in the temples. We be the synagogue every Saturday. We, I got you. We read the, the the Torah every Saturday and I mean every Shabbat, Salakia. Yeah. <laughs> we see that. Yeah. My we read the we read the the, the 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 law every week, right? In the Sabbath, so they know who the saints are, my brother. So the the, the the Israelites in Rome were Israelites. The people in Rome were Israelites. King. Well, did the Paul says that I'm a that I'm a Roman, right? In the Bible, Paul said I'm a Roman. Right. Get it for me, please. Right. Paul says I'm a Roman. But I'm also Hebrew from the tribe of ben on Benjamin. Uh, That's right. Yeah, but he also said that because I, Paul I had become, Roman, because I Paul all had, things among all people. Let's so that get I it. Can no, because Paul had Roman citizenship. Right. 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 He lived in Rome. He had citizenship of Rome. Right. Okay, Listen, I got I got citizenship in America, but I was, but I was born in Trinidad. Okay. So okay. Paul, I got you. So you said no, it wasn't right. So I, when you said I have to show you, brother, that you're incorrect. Paul said that he was a Roman, but he also said that he was a child from the child of Benjamin. Give me Philippians 3 and 5 again in the C in the NLT. This is Acts 22 and 26. You know, when the centurion heard that, he went and told the chief captain, saying, Take uh -huh. heed what thou doest, for this man is a Roman. This man is a what? A Roman. Roman. He said, Take this man is a Roman. Then the chief captain came and said unto him, Tell me, art thou a Roman? Uh -huh. He said, yeah. Paul yeah. said, yeah, I'm a Roman. Go ahead. And the chief captain answered with the great sum obtained uh, out of this freedom. And Paul said, but I was free born. Right. I was free born. I was, I was born a Roman. I got Roman citizenship, right? So the Romans doesn't make them all another nation of people. They were Israelites that was in Rome, right? Let's prove that. Bring this out. Philippians 3 verse 5. Uh -huh. oh. I was circumcised when I was eight days old. Paul says, I got circumcised when I was eight days old. I am poor, pure-blooded citizen of Israel uh -huh. and a member of the tribe of Benjamin. Right, Paul says he's from a pure-blooded citizen of Israel and a member of the tribe of Benjamin. Wow. So Paul, is Paul a Roman or he or he's an Israelite? Which one is he? Wake up. Is Paul a Roman or is he an Israelite? Mm. <laughs> is, is he a Roman that followed Israelite customs? Yeah, um, no, my point showing you is that these people were called Romans, but if, if ethnically they were Israelites, king. But they were called it because they were living under Roman jurisdiction, under Roman provinces. But they were called Romans. They were called Greeks. They were called one more, one more. First Corinthians ten. I got that. I got that. 
This is 1 Corinthians 10 and 1. Uh -huh. Listen my, to this. My, uh, the book of Corinthians, right? Are the Corinthians Gentiles? I don't know. Let's see. My dear fellow believers. Oh, chapter verse. 1 Corinthians 10 and 1. Listen. My dear fellow believers, uh -huh. you need to understand that all of our Jewish ancestors. Paul says the Corinthians, all of our Jewish ancestors, go ahead. Who walked through a wilderness. Who walked through the what? Wilderness. Who, who was in the wilderness? The Israelites. The Israelites. <laughs> but this but is the book of Corinthians. Our. So who's the Corinthians? That's what it's speaking to. Read it again. That all of our Jewish ancestors. That's possessive. Walked through a wilderness long ago and were under the glory cloud. Under the cloud. And, and passed through the waters of the sea on both sides. Uh -huh. And they were all baptized under that cloud with Moses. That's, that's specifically to the Israelites, right? Coming out of Egypt. He's, he's telling the Corinthians who he, who he is. No, he's talking, he's telling, he's saying, read it again. The from the top, the first one. My dear Listen. fellow believers. My dear fellow believers, right? Go ahead. Jesus Christ. It, did, did it say that? Did it say that? No, but you said it. Right, but you said it. You didn't say that, my brother. Listen closely, King. Stop adding to God's word, my brother. Read Hold on. Let's read. I got you. I got you. I got you. This is First Corinthians 10 and 1. My dear fellow believers, you need to understand that all of our Jewish ancestors walked through the wilderness long ago. And we're under the glory cloud. So why would Paul say that to the people who who forefathers were not under the wilderness? That he would be lying, right? Again. Did everybody forefather walk through the wilderness with Moses? Again. He's he's introducing himself. Paul went around the world to preach the gospel. No, he went through Asia Minor. He didn't go around the whole world. Okay, can I ask my last question so I can go? If Jesus Christ is but you God, asked about the world, then who right? is he? Is that again? If Jesus Christ isn't God, then who is he? Uh, Jesus Christ is the Son of God. Right. In the Bible, right? right? In this Psalm 83, um, the Bible says we are God. No, okay. When you have a son, that seed is just as much you as you're you. Yeah. So if he says that he's the Son of God, he's God in flesh. No. Because yes. give me give me John 17, right? Because the, the, the old part of the Bible, right? The is between Jesus and the Father, right? Even before he went to the cross, he prayed to the Father. Right. He didn't pray yeah. to himself. Show you that, that they're not the same the person. The Father is in, is in the spirit realm. There's no time in, in, in the spirit realm. Right. You can do that. That work, that, that but, anomaly but, works. But he's, not, storm, that, but he's not the almighty God, though. Right. He is in the flesh. Bring it up. This is John 10. We don't want to answer the brother. It says that he is the image of God in, in the flesh. Yeah, Paul so he, himself said it. Right. So if you have a, if you have a son, right? Like even me, for example, right? People can see uh, people can see me and be like, yeah, you, 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 you're like your father. But I've never met this guy. But just looking at me, he can tell you, you know that somebody I know, your father. So when it says he's the image of God, let you know that he's the express image. Doesn't mean that he's him himself. It means that I got you. I believe so because no, but what the Bible substantiates that, that it, you can believe what you want. Right. But listen, though, King. I'm talking in reference to what the word says. Listen, we're gonna read that. Listen. This is John 10 and 34. No! Jesus answered them. Is it not written in your law? Uh -huh. I said, you are gods. Is it not written in your law that it says ye are gods? So we're gods as well, right? Yes. The angels are, I got you, brother. You gotta let me, no, we're gonna get there. I'm gonna show you that God, the word God just means a power, right? We're gods, the angels are God. Jesus is a God also, but he's not the heavenly father, right? Because he's the word spoken by God. God spoke him into existence, right or wrong? Yeah. Right, so how could that make him, how could that make him? But it him... said that Jesus Christ was crucified before the foundation of the world. And then when he was born, when, he, that, were, when he was, was born, wait, wait, I'm not done. When he was born in uh, in the book of John, they said that they'll call, the angels, I believe, said that he would be called Emmanuel, God with us. So, like, how could he not you, be God when he... angels came from heaven to declare that that he would be yeah, God Yeah, because when he, when he died on the cross, all this was something, was something under, was something under, um, 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 under his feet. So the angels reference him to be a god as well. Doesn't mean that that, that he's the heavenly father. Right. No, but he's a god, you brother. You gotta be, you gotta be, you gotta be, you gotta be lad. right? And I listen, you listen to respond. I'm showing, I'm telling you that when he ran, rose on the cross, right, all things were gonna be subject under his feet. The angels and everybody under him. You understand that? But it doesn't make him the heavenly father himself. It does not. 
We got to show that in John, in John 1. This is, well, I'm sorry, I know you guys are strong on the text. So I'm going to be strong on the text. And you have to be strong no, on the text. text. Show, text. Put it up. Show me that go to, go to, uh, go to John, where, he, where, where, where Christ was born. And it says he'll be called Emmanuel. He gave him many the titles. The proof is on you, my brother. Right? It's not on me. You get to prove that. This is Revelation 3 and 12. For the one who is victorious, I will make you to be a pillar in the sanctuary of my God. Permanently secure, I will write on you the name of my God. So, hold on. So does God have a God? That's Christ that said that, right? Yeah, no, yeah. So if he's God, does God have a God? If he's in flesh, representing his fleshly body. This is not in the flesh. It, it, no, no, this is, hold on, hold on, brother. This is not in the flesh. This is in the spirit. Hey. This is John the Revelator on the island of Patmos. Bring it out! Bring it out. Right? This is not Christ speaking. This is him, in, well, this is him in, in the spirit, right? Listen again. Follow me, king. Walk you down. Listen to me closely. Read it again. For the one who is victorious, I will make you to be a pillar in the sorry, sanctuary. Wait, where is this? The book, read the book of the verse again. Revelation 3 and verse 12. For the one who is victorious, I will make you to be a pillar in the sanctuary of my God. Permanently secure, I will write your name on, I will write on you the name of my God. So he, Jesus says, I'll write, I'll, I'll write on you the name of my God. Right? Right. And it says, and the name of the city of my God, New Jerusalem, uh -huh. descending from my God out of heaven, and I'll write my own name on you. Right. So in this verse, he read for you six times that he has a God. He says, I'm write the name upon you of my God. And I'll make you a temple and a pillar of my God. He said about six times that he has a God. So if God is the heavenly father, how come he has a God? God don't have a God. And this is Christ in the spiritual realm speaking. And he has a God. All right, you also said that out of the mouth of two witnesses, no, let a thing it? be established, right? Dude, dude, so, 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 hold on, you stole my verse. I brought that out. Yeah, no, you stole my verse. I brought that out. I can't steal the verse. These verses belong to I'm saying, though, when you, you land back enough for me, I agree with you, right? I mean, but if it's a first but word, you didn't give me God, let's, let's though. use it all together. Oh, I got you. That's one witness, right? I give you two more. This is John right now. Mm. You, you, what's up, you good? I, I got Bring it up. The brother guy, this, he, he this, right here. This is John 5 and 37. And no. TPT. And my father himself, and who? My, my father, father himself, go ahead. who gave me uh -huh. this mission. He said what? Gave me this mission. So did God give God a mission? Oh. Did God yeah. give himself a mission? Oh, oh God yeah. gave. Where was that again? Read it again. This is John 5. And 37 John and chapter 5 verse 37 and my father himself uh -huh. who gave me this mission my father himself gave me a mission go ahead has also testified that I am his son I am his who? I, I am his son. son right he's not God he's his son go ahead but you have never heard his voice nor seen his form but it said that he was his person, but you said you have never seen his form. So what about in John chapter, what about in John chapter 17? We yeah, yeah, want to read that right now. Mm. Uh, yo, listen, you see that the most like I was working with you, my brother. He's working you for the betterment, right? That's right. Listen to this, read it again. We read that verse, John 17 and 1. John 17 verse 1. These words spake Jesus and lifted up his eyes. Read it again, Salakia. These words spake Jesus and lifted up his eyes to heaven and said, Father, the hour is come. He says what? Father, the hour has come. Glorify thy son, that thy son also may glorify thee, as thou hast given him power over all flesh, that he should give eternal life to as many as thou hast given him. And this is life. E right, it says, Father, the hour has come. Glorify thy son, so I can glorify thee. Showing you that it's a clear distinction between the two. Just this distinction between the realm of the flesh and the realm of the spirit. No. He has to make that, that, that distinction. Even, but even in the spiritual realm, give me Daniel 7 after, after that, after that, right? On. I'm going to show you that. No, no, no. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. You got a scripture? John, John uh, chapter 16. John chapter 16. One of the no, first. So we're not going to read the whole, the whole, the whole, the whole page. I know. I, I, I'm not get sure the verse. Get some cover because your Bible going to get back. I'm, I'm not sure. I'm not sure of the verse. I got but, you. But uh, one of the disciples, they ask him. Just show us the Father plainly. And Christ says, if you've seen me, you've seen the Father. Right, because he came in the words of his daddy. He came to proclaim everything that he said. Right? If I, if my father, I got you, listen, right? 
it's because if my father sent me with a message, right? And says, I'm your dad. Go out here with a message that goes to declare a message to these people, right? And I say, I come in the name, in the name of my father. They're supposed to know who that is. That doesn't mean that I'm my daddy himself, but I came in the name of him. Watch. Right, he, but I read that already. You don't, oh, yeah. I don't think it's resonating. Read that read that verse right now. Come this on. This is supposed to be. Oh. This first Corinthians 15 and 27. Brother, brother, right here, listen to this. First Corinthians 15 and 27 in the NLT. Uh -huh. But the scriptures say. The scripture says, go ahead. God has put all things under his authority. Under whose authority? Under his, his authority. authority. God put all things under his authority. Give me 37. Of course, when it says all things are under his authority, that does not include God himself. Read it again. Of course, when it says all things under his authority, that does not include God himself, who gave Christ his authority. Mm. Then, when all things are under his authority, when all things are under his authority, the Son will put himself under God's authority. He's going to put himself mm. where? Under God's authority. So this is when he's in the spiritual Hold on, my brother. When he's in the spiritual realm, he says, <laughs> read it again. Like, that's a dagger. Read that verse again. And he says, says he put all things under, under his authority. Read it again. For the scriptures say, God has put all things under his authority. Uh -huh. Of course, when it says all things are under his authority, uh -huh. that does not include God himself. That does not include God himself. Come. So when he gave you, <laughs> that shit is too cold. When he gave, <laughs> hold on, my brother, hold on. Let me light my chariot. When he gave his son, authority over all things that does not include me myself because you're not me and i'm not you right you're my son no. i spoke you into existence right. you were created for my ministry but when i put everything under your feet and all the other ones look at it twisted and messed up that's about me too yeah he's not under god i mean yahweh shy jesus you're, christ you're hold on my brother he's not under jesus christ he says do i give you all power don't get it twisted that i'm under you i'm not under you i'm over you what? read it again it says <clears throat> of course when it says all things under his authority that does not include god himself go ahead who gave christ his authority he gave it to him go ahead then when all things are under his authority uh -huh. the son will put himself under god's authority go ahead so that god who gave his son the authority of all things uh -huh. will be utterly supreme over everything everywhere mm. so he's gonna be over everything everywhere except That's for god himself that shows you that he is not him on, he's a separate entity from him right. they're not the same even though he's a god as well and god is god god is power in that home they're not the same god there's different powers in the hierarchy my brother i right? that we are gods too right you just contradicted John, that just hurt so bad you don't know what to do because you explain explain that though i'm getting ready to if you let explain me it. you're rapping to the camera and rapping to him you're not talking to him oh uh, the funeral over there nah, that's that uh, i thought i thought some military guy found or something in john in john in john one and one it said in the, in the beginning, beginning was the word and right. the word was god and the word was with god Christ is God's word made flesh, is manifested into a man. Yes, and that is from God. They are one entity that works together. God the Father, God the Father speaks and the word yeah, comes he spoke, out. He spoke the word. He's the sword of the word, Christ. Right, but do you know that the word God is human to flesh? So you can't you, you can't contradict this the word and then get all excited because technically we're saying the same thing if you think about it. It's a different man. But I'm not negating. No, nah, he's cool, man. I'm not negating that Jesus Christ is a God. I'm not negating that. But he is not the all supreme, omnipotent God. That what? heavenly father. He's. I got you, brother. His word. I'm not denying that. A man is only as good as his word. We but I'm not denying that, world. though, brother. But he's not God himself. Right. Oh Read it. This is John one. Right. John, is this is John one. Hold on, you call. You call this verse, right? You call John 1. Let's do John 1. This is John 1 and 2. They were together face to face. Oh, oh my God. Read it again. They were together face to face. The John 1, the one that you asked for. Read it again. Book chapter the verse. This is John 1 and 2. In the TPT. They were taking in the TPT. You wanted the KJV? Let's get it. That's a comment to the brother's liking of, 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 of the scripture, right? You want the KJV. No, because everything that you asked for, brother, we went to it. 
You asked for John 17 to be not go to John 17? Right. You said John 1 to be not go to John 1? Right. No, but you don't have to be like cynical about it. You don't have to be funny about no, but it. That's come a on, man. Don't, 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 try to, don't try to quench my song. That's my song. Don't try to quench my spirit right now. Listen, brother. I said, hold on. Did the Bible Anybody says don't quench the spirit? crush mine. No, I'm trying to show you what the Bible says. Right. We having fun, brother. Brother, we having fun, man. You know what you're doing. We having fun. No, ain't no problem. Listen, we having fun, man. We having a good time. It's a good dialogue. How you like it? Because for right now, I'm wearing it real well. Appreciate you. John 1 and 1. In the beginning well, was the Word, good, good. and the Word was with God, uh -huh. and the Word was God. Uh -huh. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by Him, and with and without Him was not anything made that was made. Right, so Yahweh Shai, Jesus Christ, He, he made all things. Right? So it says God spoke Him into existence, right? Because the word God there is two different... It, I, do you speak so your what words? Is the word? What is the word? What is the word? A word is a it's something that's spoken. A word is a thought. Okay, stop. A word is a thought, right? Speak a word right now. Broadway. You, you just spoke a word. I didn't have to speak that word into existence. No, it, was but you spoke, it was in me already. But listen, but you spoke it was a, in my imagination. I got you, right? But you had to speak that even, word yeah, for it to come word. to life. And that word did what it had to do to communicate that thought to you. Just as Christ did what he had to do to communicate the thoughts of, of God to the world. I'm not denying that. God spoke a word, right? He says in the beginning was the word. When he spoke that word, Jesus Christ came into existence. Brother, okay. let me finish. You're telling me no, but you're not showing me the proof to prove what you're saying. I'm not to right. show you the proof. It's in my heart. You don't? Oh, it's in your heart. Uh, no, no. Well, says, you go down to the five. It says prove all things, right? 21. So what you mean? Not, so what you mean? Oh, you just proven. say you don't have to prove anything. That's not true, brother. According to the Bible, this is if any man speak, then it's with the oracles of God. Right. right. Prove all things. Okay. And give a ready to give an answer to everyone that asks you. Okay, so I'm don't tell. I don't got a bunch of men with Bibles around me. I'm doing the best you as I can. You have a cell phone. You have Google. That's your best I don't have a cell phone, bro. Put Google. I'm the best one I have. I want to grab the other gentleman's phone. Again, you're being funny. You have a cell phone? I don't. You want You want mine? But we have, but we have, we have Bibles too. The Bibles all around. Grab one. Help yourself. Get him a Bible, man. Father twenty-one. Two more things. First Thessalonians five verse twenty-one. Prove all things. Hold fast that which is good. Abstain from all appearance of evil. First Thessalonians. 5 and 21. Oh, he said it? Prove all things. Hold fast that which is good. Right, so we got to prove all things. Right? So when you say you don't have to prove anything, that's incorrect, brother. Without you proving something, I can't really go with what you're saying, brother. Without, right. without, 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 without biblical evidence, man. Right? Ashna, need you over here, brother. Get ready, get ready, King, get ready, get ready, get ready. Get your readers, bro. We out here. Come on, let's get it. Daniel 9. Daniel 9, verse 24. Bring it out. What happened? No, but you said you wanted to hold on. You said you wanted to do that Bible. You said you wanted the Bible. You said you wanted to so, I did. I had one. Did you find what you looked for? I already for? had to go. Mm. Oh. I, already had, I told you that earlier. The Bible said wicked flee, but no man pursue. Oh, that's right. right. The Bible what says the wicked flee, flee, but nobody pursue. So why are you running from the so word of God? No. Right. Because I stood here no. and, and had a conversation with flee, you. Now I'm wicked. I, I'm going to ask a question. I'm not calling you wicked. I'm saying, if I hand you the Bible, and now you got to go, you had all the time to leave, my brother. But now when this book gets into your hand, now right. you got to go. Did Listen. I, did I not properly go through the book with you earlier without the book? Where? When did you do that? No, verbally. <laughs> well, you didn't bring I know verses, my brother. I, rem I didn't bring any. When I told you to go to chapter chapter 17 of the book of John, oh, I was just getting ready to go there. What yes, verse? Wow. How much, you, how much I gave you? I didn't bring up the, 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 the Samaritan woman in the book of John, too. Cut. You, 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 so you paraphrase, you paraphrase things. So busy, I got so you. You're running off and cut, trying to cut people. You ain't really attracting nobody. No, you know why? Me. Everything that I've so read to be read it verbatim, we explained it, right? I'm not trying to cut you with the word of God. I'm trying to edify. Yeah, see, go, you're, you're cutting me off like now. That. You're cutting me off. And then you talk about someone to serve. Are you going to let me land my plane? You already landed your plane. I didn't finish. I didn't let me land my mine. plane. My plane's still in the air. 
My chiron is still hovering over. <laughs> my chiron is still hovering right now. No, we just having fun. But why you so why, 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 why you so uptight? Why are you so uptight, my brother? I'm not. I didn't bring you to you. Because you're not practicing what you preach. What am I preaching? You're preaching earlier. You talked about respect, right? And I don't then, respect you. And then you just call me wicked, bro. I didn't, from the same I didn't call, hold on, on my brother. I did not call you wicked. Bro, you I know, said. Now, now you didn't call me wicked. You referred to a scripture that talks about how the wicked flee when none pursue, right? And I was just leaving. You were talking about me, bro. Be real with it. So, what we gonna now, do? We look, gonna, look so, we gonna, we gonna do with the Bible or you gonna, we gonna contend with each other? What you doing? Gonna lie, right? You out of here? Yeah, I told you. All right, my I brother. Have a good day, King. We love you, man. All right, brother. All right, King. We, we, we love you, bro. <laughs> but I see you want to get into an argument. You want to get into a. Ah, <laughs> no more. Brother, yeah. you know what I think up here, man. You know what I think up here, man. You know what I think up here, man. What I do love, I love how you guys but we should read, love read and know the word. Are you keeping God's commandments? I know how you, I love how you guys You're read. You're not answering my question. Are you keeping the commandments yeah, of God? You're going to let me finish Her. talking. Yeah, you ain't saying nothing truly, about that that I need to. I'm trying to give you a compliment right. if you let me talk. Bro, that's fine. I said I, I love how it. you guys know the word and you know how to refer it. And that was fun, our back and forth. But you, y'all got a tendency of, of, of being really disrespectful in a way, and I you know you. it. How I disrespected you? The whole, the whole, with me being wicked because I gotta go because I don't want to stand. So you're gonna use, you. hold on, so you're gonna use one, one thing at the end of our conversation to dictate the whole, the whole, the whole conversation? Come on, brother. That, that's kind of, that's kind of. Yeah, you are me brother. representing God. You said it yourself. You gotta go by the book. Yeah, you gotta be about it. I'm going by the word of God. And if you're trying to get me to believe that I'm a child, that I'm, that I'm a Israelite, bring it out, man. Then. Yeah. James keep 1 verse 19. Bring it out! Wherefore, my beloved brethren, let every man be swift to hear and slow to speak. You gotta be swift to hear and slow to speak, man. Right, right one little thing we said gonna dictate the whole conversation, man. The brother is just mad, man. He's upset. Now you go to the so-called white man looking for validation. You see that? And he won't let the curse his ass out. I'm trying my best, man. Right? Gonna be more humble, right? But that's what people will tell you, man. Look at that. Oh. Who did say that? Murmuring, right? To, 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 to so called white man, right? Right, let me get that verse. I'll stop. Hebrews 4 and 12. I'll stop. The word of God is quick. The word of God is what? The quick. Word of God is quick. Go ahead. Powerful uh -huh. and sharper than two, any two edged sword. Right, he, read it again. He's mad because the word of God is quick, man, right. and sharper than any two edged sword. Uh, he get cut, don't even know he got cut. Right, right? It's, it's, it's happening too fast. <laughs> And I speak fast, so it's even worse. You don't know what's going on right now. Re yeah, right, right, read it again. For the word of God is quick uh -huh. and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword, uh -huh. piercing yeah. even to the dividing uh, dividing asunder of soul uh -huh. and spirit uh -huh. and of the joints and marrow, and is a discerner of the thoughts. It's discerner of what? The thoughts. See that? That's what his word of God is. It's a, it's a, it's a discerner of thoughts. Got into his mind. He don't know what to do, right? So don't blame me, man, right? We have a little fun. Right, we're not like your Christian church. Right, we're gonna have fun, we're gonna laugh, we're gonna throw a little jab here and there. And so it's um, it's only good favor. Right, don't take it personal, man. Right, you have that spike, have to have thicker skin, man. He's mad, he's extremely he's sensitive, man. Yeah, right, I'm the kind of like, so we're gonna have fun with this thing. We're not gonna come here and just be like some damn Methodist church and be out here harmonizing all day. Right. Right, we're gonna be definitely having a good time, laughing, having a great time at camp, man. Right, right. That's right. But the brother had never been to church in his life. So he don't know what church is like. Right? We don't got the spirit of God. Right, 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 that right, right. That right there is a goddamn lie. Right. Go ahead. Jeremiah 5 verse 14. Yeah. Wherefore, thus saith the Lord God of hosts, because ye speak this word, behold, I will make my words in thy mouth fire. You gonna make us what? I will make thy words in thy mouth fire. He says he's gonna make the words of our mouth as fire, man. Right? He can't handle that. You give him the Bible, he said, now I gotta go. But he said you have to go 20 minutes ago. That's right. It's because when he opened his book, he can he cannot navigate it. Right? So he don't know what to do. So now he gotta go. So you are wicked. <laughs> you are wicked because when the word of God is in your hands, you don't know, you don't know what to do with it. Right. Right, right. Don't blame me for calling you out. And guess what he did? He left, right? He ran. Right. Nobody chased him about the Bible, but he ran for the word of God, man. Right. My brother says, my brother says to, to, um, contend for the faith. He wasn't doing it. He was just asking about a whole load of questions. And when he got the answer, he didn't, he didn't want to deal with it. Right? 
That's it on that. I'm about to get a body here, man. And then I'm going to give up praise. I'm going to go to the mosque. I got your And I say, come here, Charlotte. Come here, Charlotte. I see all my enemies. Hey, ain't no me scared for me. Cause I got a God and he does really care for me. Hey, I can't let these demons get to me. Uh. I see all my enemies. Hey, ain't no me scared for me. Cause I got a God and he does really care for me. Hey, I can't let these demons get to me. Uh.